Hey guys, welcome to another YC Weekly. This is Tim. And this is Peter. And today's topic is about wrestling, specifically the WWE. The WWE goes back to almost 60 years ago, when Vince McMahon Sr. owned the World Wide Wrestling Federation. In the year 1979, Vince McMahon Jr. bought the company and trademarked the name World Wrestling Federation. The company started to make a name for itself across the country, but the event that would change sports entertainment forever was WrestleMania. WWF's annual marquee event. WrestleMania featured celebrities and big name wrestlers such as Hulk Hogan, Mr. T, and even Muhammad Ali. But the WrestleMania that changed it all was WrestleMania 3. The main event was Hulk Hogan versus Andre the Giant for the World Championship. Over 75,000 fans were in attendance for this WrestleMania. As Hulk Hogan slammed Andre the Giant, the 500 pounder, to the ground and he won the belt. This would change WrestleMania and sports entertainment forever. Throughout the 80s and 90s, there were popular periods in World Wrestling Federation. One of them was known as the New Generation Era, with wrestlers such as Razor Ramon, Diesel, Bret Hart, and the Macho Man, Randy Savage. And my personal favorite, the Attitude Era, which had superstars such as Stone Cold Steve Austin, The Rock, Undertaker, DX, The Hardy Boys, and much more. It was truly a great time period for wrestling, but that changed in the year 1997 when WWF almost got bought out by their rival company, World Championship Wrestling. A lot of wrestlers left the WWF to sign with that company. The WCW started to make a name for themselves in the late 90s and started airing their show the same days and the same times as Monday Night Raw. This became known as the Monday Night Wars. WCW started to beat the WWF in television ratings for 84 weeks straight. The night that changed the tide of the war was January 4th, 1999, where Mankind beat The Rock for the WWF Championship. After that, WCW ratings dramatically dropped and Vince McMahon bought out the company in the year 2001, officially ending the Monday Night Wars. The most popular star of this era is John Cena. John Cena has been with the company for over 15 years and has won the championship belt 16 times. Not only has he impacted the WWE, but his fans as well, all around the world. WWE has such a huge fan base and considered international phenomenon. Fans always argue over who they want winning the matches. You even have fans booing the good guys known as the baby faces and cheering for the bad guys known as the heels. Okay, WWE is clearly not real, it's scripted. But don't be mistaken, the moves are real and WWE superstars risk their lives every day performing for us fans, like me and Peter. It's still real to us, all right, brother? Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to our social media accounts. Oh, yeah. Yo, um, Pete, yo, you think you can smell this real quick?